Well, if you are wondering which HDD is perfect for your NAS system, then you will notice that there are uh, some product series which only slightly uh, differ in the serial numbers from the manufacturers. They are completely equal in capacity, product line, manufacturer, everything is the same, but you'll notice a change in the serial number uh, between two models in the model number. So in this video, I'll explain the differences and what to buy for a NAS system. Well, in most cases, the difference between those only slightly differing model numbers and serial numbers um, is the use of a special technology which is called CMR, Conventional Magnetic Recording. Um, this is how data is written and uh, read, read from the uh, hard drive disk. Um, there is a new alternative to this, which some manufacturers have inbuilt into their hard disk drives. All the great ones, Seagate, Western Digital, Digital for example. You have to be aware that there are two types of disks. Even uh, if you buy a red series from Western Digital, for example, which is made for network attached storages and 24 hour um, operating times, um, you can also find some of them which don't use conventional magnetic recording but the newer technology which is called shingled magnetic recording. And shingled magnetic recording means all SMR drives do have problems when they are configured as RAID volumes. So be careful not to buy the SMR volumes for RAID systems. So now you might think, interesting, which one should I buy now? Okay, I can't explain that in detail here in this video because there are many hard drives on the market, of course. But you will find a link to a table which I created uh, to my website in the video description and in the first comment. And uh, there you find a table which you can sort, which you can filter, where you can choose which capacity for the hard drive, which series, which manufacturer. And inside that table you can then click on a link to get exactly to the product site of your Amazon store uh, in your country. Um, because um, I have noticed that it is really, really difficult to find an, an exact model at Amazon. If you search for Western Digital Red 4TB, you find uh, three to six results, but you can't, uh, you, you can't truly say which one is the one that you need with the right model number at the end. So, um, go and scan the QR link, or go and click into the link in the um, video description or in the comments. A few of you will be curious now, what is the difference between CMR and SMR? Well, I will explain that, but let me first issue a disclaimer for that. Don't write a doctor thesis about this, um, because I will only describe the whole thing uh, to make it a little bit more plastic. It's not um, technologically uh, complete, okay? CMR. Data blocks are written to the hard drive. Uh, the first data block is here, and then there is, is a short break between the data blocks, and then there is another data block. So this short break is perfect uh, for the pointer of the hard drive to find, it, it, it scans the hard drive and says, oh, here, here's a break. So um, I guess here is one data block ending and another one is beginning. So I'll start from here. Um, so this makes pointing to the, to the right um, data block quite fast. But it takes some space of the hard drive because this break in between the data blocks um, it can't be used for storage, of course. So um, this was when people invented SMR. Um, SMR, shingled magnetic recording, um, you could say um, the space between data blocks uh, is, is made smaller, so you have more storage. Good. But the problem is the pointer needs a little more time to get to that position and to exactly find the position from where the data block begins. Um, it, it doesn't find the initial point so fast as with CMR. And um, this is a problem when you are putting a lot of small files and file operations to the hard drive. Because then um, flying from one point to another uh, gets a little bit slower. And this results in the buffer being fed up with information that can't be written to the disk in time. It's not a problem, you might say. I'm not storing many small uh, files on my hard drive or on my NAS. Yes, might be, 
unless you are using RAID volumes, because in RAID volumes, the synchronization uh, between the different hard drives in a volume um, is made in small uh, file changes and only small block changes. So using a RAID uh, volume on these disks would result in the buffer feeding up until it's full, until it's overflowing, and um, the system can't write the data to the data blocks on the disk in time. And when also the buffer is full, then you have the problem that your rate is getting out of sync. Therefore, only buy CMR technology uh, hard drives. So if you like this video and my uh, explanation, very plastic, uh, then um, give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. I, uh, I hope you have fun um, choosing and building your NAS and mounting the hard drives into your NAS. This is what I will do now. And uh, yeah, maybe we will see us in another video. Have a great day. Stay healthy.